Thank you, Alan. That's very kind and, and uh, quite unnecessary. It is interesting, um, not part of, I guess, partially for today's topic, is, is to remember that universities are big, complex organ organisations and fit very much into our topic today. So thank you, Alan, for your, your introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Affinity Intercultural Foundation Luncheon Series. And just like the opening speaker, I'd also like to acknowledge the elders past and present and their lands today. We're really delighted to host you all, and particularly our distinguished guests, including uh, my friend and colleague, Professor Gillian Triggs, who of course was Dean at Sydney University, the now Human Rights Commissioner. Wonderful to see you here, Gillian. Senator Zay Len, uh, Sonny Singen from the uh, Consul General of Papua uh, New Guinea, Andrea Quilla from the US Consulate, uh, Jim Longy, Deputy Secretary of Aging, Disabilities and Home Care, uh, Department of Facts, of course, Stephen Blanks, President of the Council of Civil Liberties, and representatives from the police, media, and various other organisations. Welcome to everyone. Today's topic, what's happening or not in privacy, is an absolutely critical and central part of our society. Without doubt, the area of big data, so I'm taking it out to that level first, has become one of the hottest topics society is concerned about. And I know from the university perspective, uh, in recent times, we're developing a new Masters of Information Governance, bringing together the streams of the computer side of things, which I know very little about, the business analytics side of things, and then obviously the legal regulation. And we know one of the most hot topics is around privacy. Without doubt today, I think we're going to get some insights to understand how government interacts, how the medical record side of privacy is absolutely critical, but also the whole balance between you know, the issues around when you could send put something up on Facebook, through to the consequences of going for a job, through to obviously, uh, I'm sure there's going to be some comments about the ABS census, and I think how that's really brought the topic into light as we know the challenges that are occurring. And how wonderful today for us to be joined uh, by Dr. Elizabeth Coombs. What a perfect person to come and share with us a detailed knowledge. Now, Elizabeth, of course, uh, has had an extensive public service career, holding both the roles of CEO and senior executive positions in the New South Wales public sector, including other statutory roles, other than our current one of Commissioner for Fair Trading and Commissioner for Local Government Grants Commission, both very important <coughs> roles. Her role of Fair Trading, uh, Juvenile Justice and Department of Women all have had significant impact, of course, reporting directly to the Director General of the Premier's Department. Dr. Coombs' current role is absolutely significant, not just to today's talk, but to society. As New South Wales Privacy Commissioner, her role includes the statutory functions prescribed in the Privacy and Personal Information Protection Act. That's a nice mouthful, isn't it? Uh, of 1998. And also the Health Records and Information Privacy Act of 2002. And there's that intersection that I mentioned earlier. This includes promoting privacy in New South Wales, recommending legislative, administrative or other actions in the interest of privacy for New South Wales citizens, as well as conducting inquiries and investigations into privacy-related matters in New South Wales. The role of the Privacy Commissioner reports to the New South Wales Parliament and is oversight by the Parliamentary Committee on, uh, of the Ombudsman, the Police Integrity Commission and the Crime Commission, as well as a, as a joint statutory committee. Elizabeth's doctoral studies involve cross-disciplinary research drawing upon the disciplines of political science, classical economics, and industrial relations. As Privacy Commissioner, Elizabeth is um, committed to lifting the profile of privacy within the New South Wales public sector and the private health sector, and addressing strategic issues that will protect the privacy issues of all individuals in New South Wales. As I said, we really appreciate her coming today and I'd like to invite Dr. Coombs to come and give her presentation and there will be an opportunity for questions and answer afterwards. So any of the matters that have arisen, we can drive further. So Elizabeth, welcome. Thank you. 